love quitting time. It's been a uh, hard day, I guess. Um, found out this morning I gotta do a Fujitsu scanner in Gainesville, Florida. Now, Gainesville from our shop is, that location is about uh, 150 miles round trip, three hours. It took three hours to do the job. I had to clean the scanner really good, but the company sent some parts and I didn't need the parts, so that was good. But now I'm driving home. I got a uh, call for tomorrow morning at a bank. Got to swap out a PC. I'm going to do that first thing before I head to the shop. Uh, I don't know. It was a pretty nice day. Sun's going down now, but uh, high today was about 65. Nice weather. I didn't get a chance to eat lunch today because I was busy with that scanner call. And this was a a uh, customer I'd done the scanner for before. And uh, the last time I was there, they were complaining because I was using isopropyl alcohol to clean it. And what Fujitsu does is. Uh, sells them, sells customers a uh, watered down version of alcohol and uh, they didn't like the fact that I told them you can use this stuff they figured they had to use the F1 cleaner so uh, last time I was there the manager there uh, complained to Fujitsu and we got in a little bit of trouble for it uh, even though the company we did the job for said there's no problem with that but anyways did the job today the end user uh, sat there the whole three hours while I took the machine completely apart cleaned it then we tested we ran uh, about a thousand fifty pages through it that was a good test. No errors, nothing. So, it was a good thing. 95% of the time, a good deep cleaning on these scanners will fix any issue. But, uh, yeah, so, end user was pretty happy that I was able to get it fixed. These Fujitsu scanners are a bunch of expensive beasts. This particular one I worked on, no kidding, will scan 300 pages per minute. That's amazing. This was, we used to do these calls uh, for a company. Then uh, they decided they wanted certified people. So, what was it, like two years ago in May, I spent a week out in San Jose, California going to school at the Fujitsu complex and uh, got certified in them. So now I'm one of only two people in the area. I mean, the area being Jacksonville up to Savannah, out to Tallahassee, down to Orlando, Tampa. Only two people in the area that are certified to work on those machines. That's pretty cool. I actually like working on them too. They're fun, challenging, and uh, time consuming. I mean, this one job basically took the whole day. So that was. I didn't get uh, other jobs to do, thankfully. I got some good news last night. I posted it on my Facebook if you're watching. Uh, Last night I made, bought a ticket to somewhere. Uh, at the end of this month I'm going to take a little road trip down to Orlando. And uh, it's going to be a surprise where I go. But uh, it's something 
you'll probably recognize and like to see. I'm looking forward to it. The ticket for this pl for this theme park was um, there was an online special for sixty four dollars. I couldn't pass it up. The only problem is I have to use it by the end of January, so the probably January twenty sixth or the weekend of the 26th, I'm going to go down there and um, use it. Finally made it home. Oh, happy times. I'm just getting some stuff together, getting changed. And i uh, going to watch the BCS Championship tonight. Are you all going to watch? Which team are you rooting for? I'm rooting for Alabama, of course. Not because I really like the team or really follow it, but they're SEC. Got to support the division. Hopefully they'll win. Come on, you can do it. Ah, waiting. I was just going through the mail. And, uh, looks like I already got some tax stuff. Uh, <sighs> It's like a never-ending cycle. I wish just once everybody in the country would not have to do taxes. Just one year. It'd be nice. Anyways. There's my tickets. My ticket and directions. Wow. I was able to make grilled cheese and it's not even 50% loaded yet. You know what? I can't wait to tell you where I'm going. I gotta show you. I am going to Legoland. From what I've seen from Mike, it's a lot of fun, and I've never seen it before. I got some good news last night. Um, I was chatting on Facebook, going around, looking at what my friends were doing, and uh, my aunt and uncle, or my aunt posted a comment on something I had wrote. Uh, talking about they had put in for time in March and some other month uh, for their timeshare down here. If they can get it, that means they're coming for a visit. And that'd be really cool since my birthday is in March. I would love to see them. I haven't seen them in probably a year now, a little over a year, when I went out to Wisconsin for, uh, I think it was my grandma's birthday last year, I think we saw him, uh, but yeah, that'd be really cool if my aunt and uncle could come down. I know that living in an apartment can be rough, um, this is a town home apartment, whatever you want to call it, but, uh, last night, I was, uh, sound asleep, actually, early this morning, it was like two or three in the morning, my alarm clock set for six, so I can get up and go to work, but, uh, about two o'clock this morning, I get startled awake because it sounds like the neighbors are, like, throwing stuff against the wall and their bedroom upstairs is right next to mine right next to my headboard and it was I don't understand how people can make so much noise and be so inconsiderate for other people honestly though I really can't blame them they probably don't know that they're making that much noise but 
I would never make that much noise, especially not that time of the morning or night or, I mean, I always grew up, it's like 10 o'clock, be considerate, 10 p.m., be considerate for other people around you, be quiet, or try to be as quiet as you can be, I don't know, like I said, living in an apartment is just something you gotta get used to. But, I don't know. I just, I don't understand why people can be so inconsiderate. I mean it. Between those guys and these guys over here who come home late at night, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, yelling. They can't speak a lick of English, as far as I can tell. It's all Spanish. And, like, thumping up the stairs, thumping in their apartment, running up their stairs. I mean, it's just... A little bit of consideration goes a long way. And I'm sorry about going on about this, but it really bugs me. Sometimes I just want to go over there and slap them but, or hit them or something I don't know I won't though what am I to do